I'm Sangeeta and you're watching Hi TV. I'll be featured in this episode of Ask Me. What's your current obsession? It's always been chocolate, so there's nothing current about it. Can you make any prediction about yourself exactly one year from now? I'd be doing a movie, hopefully not into politics. My kid would be one year older, I'll be one year older. What do you do on your off days? I don't have off days. Must get one. What's the most enjoyable activity when you're home? Uh, most enjoyable activity for me would be dancing. What's something you own you truly cherish? I could give a deep answer, but I'm going to go with a very light one. Okay, I'm going to go with my deep one, uh, with my child. One thing you can never live without? Nothing, I mean, there's nothing I cannot live without. I'm fine. What scares you the most? Fake people. What's your least favorite thing to eat? Not that you tell me. Hmm. Oh God, what's my least favorite thing to eat? Maybe prawns? Dessert you can't live without? <laughs> Any dessert. Your favorite beverage? Coffee? What is your first memory in life? What do I remember? Um, me and my grandfather, how I used to trick him and play with him in the garden. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Don't give advice unless it's asked for. A good rule you've learned from your parents? Nothing in life is forever, so whatever you do, whatever you face, face it positively. Always remember, good things don't last, nor does sad things last, so that goes on. What did you want to do with your life at the age of five? <laughs> I don't know. What advice would you give your 15-year-old self? Well, probably tell her to um, pay more attention to the books. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'd probably be doing more or less the same thing, that I'll be more uh, sort of in a higher place than where I am uh, as a person, individually, spiritually, and professionally. What's your morning routine like? I get up at 5. I have gym at 5.15. Uh, 6.30, I wake up my daughter, get her ready to go to school. I drop her, come back. By the time I get back, it's around 8.30, and then whatever I have to do after that. Which fictional character would you want to spend the day with? I'm a die-hard fan of... Okay, does Mr. Darcy count from Pride and Prejudice? If it does, then it's him. What movie can you watch over and over again? Any movie. Um, I've not yet come across a movie that I've not liked. So any of those movies I can just watch it all over again. Do you have any hidden talents? <laughs> That's still hidden. What's the best gift you've ever received? Um, Best gift. Oh wow. Okay, so gifts, to love, and children and awards don't count as gifts. So that. Oh gosh. My ring. When do you feel the happiest? I'm always happy. I'm a happy person. If your life was a song, what would the title be? Now I have to remember titles of songs. Oh my God. Truly, madly, deeply. If you had to choose another career, what would it be? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm doing the careers I know I'd want to do. So other than my acting, I do my business and I also do dancing. I'd love to be a singer, but I can't sing. But yeah, that's the career I'd like to choose. What's the most exciting thing in your life right now? This interview, right now. If you could teach one subject at school, what would it be? Maths. What's the best and worst colour to wear? I'm pretty much okay with all the colours. Never look good in uh, canary yellow. How do you make an omelette? How do I make an omelette? Oh my god! <laughs> right! I'm going to break the eggs, put salt and pepper, maybe green pepper and red pepper. And, um, I told onions, tomatoes, some mushrooms and corn. Stir it up and then make it. What was the best birthday cake you've ever had? <sighs> Right now I'm on a diet and uh, cake, yeah. I've had birthday cakes given to me as gifts. They, they're not the best tasting cake. It makes it so much special because that, you know, somebody goes to the trouble of making it for you. Those are my favorites. One thing you still have from your childhood. My dimple? If you had a superpower, what would it be? Who did I want to be? Wonder Woman, yeah. All her powers. 
Let's just take it like that. What's the best compliment you've ever received? I was on tour and um, I was performing and also I, I had my daughter with me. A person in the tour told me, Sangeeta, you're the best mum ever. Um, I saw the way you were handling your daughter and your work and I've never seen somebody give so much time and attention and give it properly to both. So yeah, that's something that really hit me really deep. What's one habit you wish you could break? Wanting to know everything about people who are close to me. I find out it's not the greatest thing to do um, because they want their privacy too. <laughs> do you have any nicknames? Sangi Jangi. <laughs> yeah. What makes you laugh no matter what? Life. What does creativity mean to you? It's doing something, things with your heart. Spell the word zucchini. Is that you? C I. And I? Spell the word desserts backwards. Can I have a pen? I can't spell it backwards. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Try to spell desert backwards. What's one goal you're determined to achieve in this lifetime? I feel I have the need to um, do something uh, positive in terms of maybe my industry. To, to promote Sri Lankan culture, the, the best way is through our movies. Our industry is having its difficulties. So I think it's one of the things I have in mind to achieve. Uh, maybe turn things around for our industry. So I can't do it alone. But, yeah. Who am I? That's going to be the next segment. Is Sangeeta Viraratna vegan? No. Is Sangeeta Viraratna happy? Always. Is Sangeeta Viraratna optimist? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what was Sangeeta Viraratna's first job? It was my last job and uh, it's acting. What is Sangeeta Viraratna's most memorable career moment? Um, one of course is the day of the first movie premiere, the first film award, then the first time I received the most uh, popular award and the best actress award on the same stage. Uh, what is Sangeeta Viraratna? Secret to success. If it's a secret, I wouldn't be saying it, right? But it's not a secret. Uh, I think I've always believed in what I'm doing. I also believe um, in karma, because you can work really hard, especially in our job, uh, yet not be a star. Um, yet not be loved by people. To be loved by people is a separate thing. It's not about you working hard. It's about people loving. It's their choice, not your choice. So you've really got to be lucky to be able to be loved by random people. Where is Sangeeta Viraratna? Panadura. Where was Sangeeta Viraratna born? Um, at St. Michael's uh, Hospital in Colombo. Where did Sangeeta Viratna go to school? Yeah, Methodist College, Colombo. How many siblings does Sangeeta Viratna have? Just one, my sister. How tall is Sangeeta Viratna? I'm pretty tall. I'm five, five and a half. Uh, is Sangeeta Viratna left-handed? No, I'm not. Can speak more than two languages. A uh, little bit of all the other languages. That doesn't count, does it? So yeah, no, I can't. Sangeeta Viratna play any instrument? I'll have to go with no. Can Sangeeta Viratna survive through the next set of questions? Let's hope so. Would Sangeeta Viratna rather be famous or successful? Oh, whoa. whoa. Um, but success counts. Uh, has Sangeeta Viratna ever dropped food on the floor and then... <laughs> I have. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more because, yeah, my sister is not to hear, here to say anything. But yeah, basically, mm, mm. Has Sangeeta <laughs> ever had an imaginary... All the time. I have this 
I have this habit of talking to the mirror. I don't know whether I'm talking to a friend or just myself, but I have this habit of talking to the mirror. I have, when there are situations that I have absolutely no control over, um, I talk to the mirror. Has Sangeeta Veera ever stolen anything? Like someone's heart? Maybe, <laughs> but nothing otherwise. Is Sangeeta Veera afraid of dark? No, I'm not. What is Sangeeta Veeratna's favorite holiday destination? The most favorite for all the wrong reasons is Thailand. And the second ones are Australia and Canada because my siblings live there. What's Sangeeta Veeratna's favorite drink? Coffee. Has Sangeeta Veeratna ever been arrested? No. Thank God, right? Who would Sangeeta Veeratna? Never want to meet. Never want to meet. Maybe I mean, no. Maybe. Yeah. You know, that kind of people. Who is the person Sangeeta Viraratna? Trust the most. Maybe because of my industry, the person I trusted, trusted most was my mom. After that, it's pretty much haven't gone there completely. Ever. What Sangeeta Viraratna's favorite word? Ice cream. Does Sangeeta Viratna like to sing in the shower? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's like the only place I can sing, so yeah. Who is Sangeeta Viratna's worst enemy? I don't know. What is Sangeeta Viratna's current vehicle? Okay, I don't own a vehicle, um, but my husband does, and he owns about four, so that's not good. <laughs> What's the best compliment? Okay, I've received a lot of nice compliments, but I'm gonna wait for the best compliments after this show. So it's gonna be, never have I ever, or oh, have I? You're gonna find out. Never have I ever bullied a junior. Never have I ever used another person's toothbrush without telling them. My mom's and uh, yeah because when I was in school I don't know what happens to my toothbrush it would walk so yeah and my mom's someone who's very uppity uppity about her personal things I'll use it clean it and put it back and then I'll tell her she's not gonna find out yeah never have I ever forgotten my spouse's birthday and got into trouble Never have I ever broken the law. Never have I ever done something and instantly regretted it. I've regretted it, right. So, not instantly, but I have. Let's put it in the past. Never have I ever got late for a party and blamed it on the traffic. <laughs> yeah, that's me at parties. Never have I ever gate crashed a party. Oh, I have. I gate crashed my friend's birthday because she forgot to invite me and then I realized, uh, hey, she can't have a birthday party and not invite me. So I went to her party, yeah. Never have I ever purposely ignored anyone. Never have I ever used my name to get out of trouble. Okay, um, maybe once or twice, you know, with the police, if I've speed up a little bit or something like that, yeah. Never have I ever got a tattoo that I regret. No tattoos. Never have I ever let out my pressure on the wrong employee, something someone else did. Never. Never have I ever overslept and missed an important meeting. Not for sleep. Never have I ever stolen something from a friend. Never, for any reason. Never have I ever fooled around in a bathroom at a party because it was so boring. <laughs> I have, I'm not going to say anything more. Never have I ever done drugs. No. Never have I ever slept with someone 10 years older. Yeah, no, never. Never have I ever sung karaoke in front of people. I have. Um, yeah, it, it was in Japan and I was there for the Fukuoka Film Festival. And I was looked after by the Japanese troupe and I didn't know anybody and I can't sing. and. 
but yeah, I'm a delegate, right, from Sri Lanka, so they can't really be rude to me and say you can't sing. They had to listen to me, and I didn't care because I'm not going to meet them again. And yeah, that was a fun day. Never have I ever flirted with a person to win a bet. No. Never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Never. Never have I ever grabbed the wrong person's hand. I have. I've actually nearly uh, slapped a fr uh, slapped somebody I didn't know, thinking it was a friend of mine. I think I kind of touched him, and he turned back, and I was like, <laughs> it was a pretty embarrassing moment. Never have I ever lied to a friend to avoid a greater evil. Ah, uh, but I'm not gonna. I, I, I don't think it's a nice thing to do anyway. Never have I ever had to run to save my life. No. Oh, never. Never have I ever screwed up at school. Ooh. It's gonna be like that, because I don't know how to answer that question. I've been such a mischievous girl. I have and I don't know. So it's gonna be, ooh. Never have I ever fought in the street. I mean, for movies, yeah, but. Never have I ever been in love with my teacher in college. Poor ladies. Never have I ever shoplifted. Oh. Never have I ever taken part in a talent show. Talent? No, it wasn't a talent show. No, okay. Never have I ever injured myself while trying to impress a girl or boy I was interested in. Okay, mm, I have injured myself. I was not trying to impress somebody. I was more trying to catch one of my friends lying to me. So I cross, I was in the, um, a traffic in Bamba Junction and my friend told me she's not dating this guy in the traffic I saw her in his car and they were like you know the just emotions were so obvious that they were like you know seeing each other because so annoyed and it was red light I got down from my car I didn't see the traffic lights changing I went and opened the back door thank god it was open because <laughs> the lights have changed and as I was getting into the car they pulled up because they didn't know how someone was getting in and I fell into the car, I scraped my leg and but yeah, I mean I had to take it out with her. Yeah, you can't lie about not seeing somebody and then I can't catch them on the road, right? Yeah. So that's what happened. Never have I ever broken a bone. <laughs> I've never. Never have I ever danced in an elevator. Oh yeah. I've danced in elevators, I've danced on balconies and on the street and yeah, I love it. Never have I ever set my or someone else's house on fire. <laughs> Let's hope it's not going to happen. Never have I ever pressured someone into getting a tattoo or piercing. Never. Never have I ever completely forgotten my lines in a play. Oh, I have. Um, I was the prompt actually. I didn't really have the character. I was doing the prompt and the day of the drama, um, she didn't turn up, so I had to do her, because I'm somewhat the person who knew most of the lines, but I was also the prompt. And I didn't, then I had to do the lines, but I didn't have a prompt. So yeah, got me. Never have I ever had a paranormal experience. Paranormal, no, I've never. <laughs> never have I ever cheated on a test. No. Never have I ever hitchhiked. Sad, right? Never have I ever been trapped in an elevator. Ah, would have been an experience. Never have I ever thrown up on a roller coaster. Okay, um, I don't know if after the roller co coaster counts, but I was, um, where was it? In Netherlands, I think. I was at this carnival from 9.30 a.m. till 6. And all I was doing was going on the rides. And as soon as I got out, I actually vomited the whole night. <laughs> yep. Never have I ever dyed my hair in a crazy color. No, never. <laughs> never have I ever worked with someone I hated with the burning passion of a thousand sun. That's it. Never have I ever gone hunting. Never. Never have I ever thrown something into a TV or computer screen. <laughs> never have I ever been screamed at by a customer at my job. Well, yeah, once um, Vasantha Obeisekara, I was working in a movie with him, uh, Durkana Marava. You know, he's, he has ways and 
I was refusing to do something and he was saying, no, I ha you have to do it. I was saying, no, I'm not going to do it. And we had this whole argument uh, the previous day and the next day on, on set. And it's like, you know, this is what, how you got to do it. I'm like, I'm not doing it. And yeah, there was this major argument. He was screaming at me. So it was a great experience. I really loved it. Um, I think I was as honest as I could be. A very, very different interview. Uh, so far, I think uh, one of the best interviews I've done. So thank you, Hi TV, for inviting me and having this lovely moment. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else who's going to come and face this challenge. And I wish you all the very best. It was an amazing experience. Thank you.